just got a tarantula, thinking of getting one, stick around and watch this video for some top tips for new tarantula owners. Hey guys, welcome back to Spoodopods. I'm David and today I'm going to be discussing the five top things I wish I had known before getting a tarantula. It's quite interesting because I'm feeling new to the hobby of keeping them at home, I have some experience elsewhere, and these are things I wish I'd known before I'd really gotten into it. So hopefully I can share them with you and you can learn more about them. If you like my sort of content, all about inverts and spiders in spe especially, please do like, subscribe and hit that notification bell because it helps the channel. Now coming at number five, and this is one of the things that kind of put me off having the tarantula at home most for a long, long while, and that is you don't actually need to handle them. There's this kind of misconception, this portrayal that you constantly have to handle and touch your tarantula and that handling is necessary for good husbandry. And it's just not really true. The more I research, the more I find out, the more I interact with my own, it just doesn't seem necessary. You know, you do not have to handle your tarantula, you don't have to put it in your face, you don't have to grab it. You can even transfer it between closures with just hands-free methods. And I must admit, it was such a roadblock for me because I thought, I'd have to handle them and I'd hurt them or they may hurt me and that really worried me for a while so it was really good to learn that that wasn't really necessary. Number four, I've just labelled do not disturb. When you first get a tarantula, especially if you get a spiderling or juvenile, it's kind of normal for them to just burrow in if they're um, terrestrial fossorial or just web up and stay somewhere if they're arboreal. It's pretty normal for them. They just don't behave in the same way as other pets. And from someone who keeps birds a lot, who need constant attention, constant interaction, it's kind of a bit of a game changer for me having a tarantula because Ember, our um, Ciela Gans, has just borrowed in, she's juvenile, she's borrowed in, and she's just there, she's quite happy there. And from what I understand, that's perfectly normal. You know, you've got to just let her get on with it. And it's very tempting to dig her up because you want to see if she's okay and you want her to eat. But from what I understand, it's best just to leave them alone and let them stay down there. They can go a long time of eating, which will be my next point, and you just need them to settle in. Because if you do start digging them up, disturbing them, it's going to cause them stress, and you may even see more of that behaviour rather than less and more confidence from them. Which leads on neatly onto number three. These guys do not need to eat as much as other pets. Some trenches will go months or even years without eating and it's not unusual for them. It's generally thought of that you want to try offering them food once a week, unless they're in prima or molting then you just skip it for a while. But it's just completely normal for them not to eat for absolutely ages and it can be quite scary. And I must admit it caught me aback, even though I was kind of aware of it, you know. I've got jumping spider as well and sometimes he'll go without eating for a while, but generally he's quite keen most of the time. With Ember, she's like, I don't want to eat. And that's perfectly normal for them. So don't worry too much if your tarantula hasn't eaten for a while or hasn't come out of their burrow. They will come up when they need to and just keep offering their food and making sure that it's available to them. Number two in my top things I wish I had known is you need lots of substrate for these guys. It was thought of before that they didn't really require a lot of substrate and it's becoming more and more prevalent as an opinion that they need a decent sized enclosure. But even though they're inverts, you know, I think every animal needs enrichment and enclosure, you know. So they need lots of substrate, especially if they're offshore and they love to borrow. Even if they're not, it's good to have lots of substrate for safety and just to give them some enrichment and something to dig around in. It's really a requirement, not something that's optional, I feel. And I think a lot of other bigger creators and uh, experts on tarantulas would agree there. Don't skimp on the enrichment, don't skimp on the enclosure, and make sure you have lots of substrate and somewhere for them to hide, borrow, etc. Number one, and this one did take me aback because before I got into the hobby of keeping them as pets, this was something that was done elsewhere and I thought was perfectly normal, and that is you don't need any heat mats, you don't need any light sources for them. Both are completely unnecessary. You can have a light source if you want for your light benefit, so you can see them in lights of their enclosure. However, you don't want it on all the time. We don't need a heat mat at all because they're happy most of the time at the same sort of temperature we are, which is room temperature. A lot of the time, if you have a heat mat, or a lamp even worse, it will cause them issues, they could dry out, it could be, it's just basically not something you need. So do be aware of that, you don't have to invest in any expensive heating equipment, you don't need a light unless you want it, they're perfectly happy at room temperature. If basically, I think the rule of thumb a lot of people say is if you're happy, they're happy, and if you've got all the enrichment, like um, the substrate and hide, they're generally going to be completely fond of out. As I said, it wrong footed me for ages, and that was one of the things that put me off keeping them at home, basically because of outdated information. 
So everyone, I hope you found this video useful. If there's anything I missed out or any mistakes that you feel really important or things you owners should know, please feel free to drop me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and see you later.